हेलो व्यूअर्स एंड वेलकम टू इन माय ओपिनियन बाय समक्ष मल्होत्रा सो फाइनली कल गहराइया मूवी रिलीज हो गई थी विच वी ऑल वो वेटिंग फ्रॉम फॉर द वेरी बिगनिंग और उसी का रिव्यू आज हम डिस्कस करने वाले हैं तो इस मूवी से लेके काफी ज्यादा मिसकनसेप्शन पहले ही फॉर्म हो गई थी कि इस मूवी को पहले कभी अलबदाना कहना के साथ कंपेयर किया जा रहा था इस मूवी को लेके इनफिडेलिटी प्रमोशन को लेके काफी ज्यादा बातें हो रही थी दैट इज दिस मूवी दैट ग्लोरिफाइज चीटिंग लेकिन मूवी देखने के बाद हमें समझ आ गया कि ऐसा बिल्कुल नहीं है सो स्टार्टिंग विद द बिगिनिंग कि कैसे गहराइया द मीनिंग ऑफ द वर्ड इज डेप्थ एंड दिस मूवी वेरी वेल पोर्ट्रेज इट मूवी इज अ लिटिल फास्ट इन द बिगिनिंग एंड ट्रेलर इन्होंने दिखाया था विच फोक focused on infidelity being the central theme of the entire movie but movie had a lot more to it trailer jitna tha which we thought ki pehle aadhe ghante mein hi all the scenes of the trailer were already there most most of them eventually and in the starting when the movie grows very fast everything just kept on happening the viewer is forced to think ki ye sab to already ho gaya what's left in the movie now and for that reason we all stayed for the entire movie so the movie is not just about infidelity and as these actors say, इन लॉर्ड ऑफ इंटरव्यूज कि कैसे मूवी को देखते ही जब इन्होंने स्क्रिप्ट पढ़ी थी तो उसके बाद ये काफी ज्यादा थॉट में चले गए थे विच इज वेरी क्लियर बिकॉज यू विल ऑल्सो स्टार्ट थिंकिंग अबाउट ऑल ऑफ दिस वंस यू फिनिश द मूवी एंड देन देर आर अ कपल ऑफ सीन्स इन द मूवी वे यू थिंक कि अच्छा अब ये कर दिया नाउ ये होगा बिकॉज वी ऑल आर हैव अ माइंड रनिंग एंड वी थिंक दैट मूवी इज रियली प्रोडिक्टेबल बट इवेंचुअली वन द क्लाइमैक्स कम्स इट्स नॉट एट ऑल प्रोडिक्टेबल बिकॉज एट वन पॉइंट वे यू थिंक दैट दिस पर्टिकुलर पर्सन इज गोइंग टू विन बट क्लाइमैक्स मेक्स इट बेटर एंड वो नहीं होता विच यू आर थिंकिंग एंड श्योरली इट्स गोन गेट मिक्स रियक्शन द क्लाइमैक्स इज ऑल्सो गोन गेट मिक्स रियक्शन फ्रॉम ऑल द क्रिटिक्स बट वी आर ह्यूर गिविंग इट थ्री पॉइंट फाइव स्टार्स बिकॉज इट केप्ट अस हुक्ट यहाँ पे मूवी में आई वॉज ऑलवेज ऑन द एज ऑफ माई सीट वॉचिंग इट बिकॉज मुझे पता करना था कि वट्स गोन हैपन नेक्स्ट बिकॉज दिस ट्विस्ट टुक प्लेस जस्ट नाउ देन दिस टर्न हैपन देन दिस टर्न हैपन देर आर टू थ्री ट्विस्ट इन टर्न विच आर मेजर वन and that eventually leads to the climax jab trailer aaya tha we all were discussing ki kaise is trailer mein blue color bahut hi acche se use kiya hai but it's not just that isme blue ke ilawa aur bhi kafi colors use hue hain and which i mean ki bahut zyada metaphors hain there is one point when there are a lot of problems and troubles going on in all the people's lives and that's when it starts raining in the movie in the end when things get a little sorted when all the truth comes out here and there most of the truth comes out here and there uh, then sunlight has shown on deepika and nasiruddin shah's faces and nasiruddin shah is also amazing character in the movie he plays the role of deepika's father telling us that if we are stuck we can definitely get out of it and the message with which the movie starts and ends and is also there in between that we're all stuck somewhere and we cannot get out of it but iska solution bhi sath hi de dete hain that we all can take a chance this particular line is repeated multiple times that shows the depth of this movie and the only thing that a person needs to do to sort out his life is just go into that particular direction take that one chance think about your own self for a while be a little selfish and that is when you should make decisions and trailer got us worried about the fact ki ye infidelity ko promote karegi but aur ye puri movie infidelity ke bare mein hi hai lekin this is about the dark side of infidelity not about the positives of infidelity so how one lie can lead to a million others how casually people lie as per their conveniences and how one lie can make you fit in a loop of infinite lies but is movie ka central theme infidelity sirf aur sirf apne relationships mein hi nahi hai but also in the profession as well and how both ways if you do it you're gonna get caught maybe the childhood traumas are portrayed with perfection how these childhood traumas jab choti choti cheeze bhi hamare sath bade hoke wo hoti hain it leads to anxiety it leads to worries and how tiny thing leads to big worries is also shown very well here struggles of living in a metro city is portrayed very well because karan johar ki big budget movies mein ye jana jata hai ki kaise wahan pe bahut hi bade bade lavish aur ameer log dikhate hain but but here in this particular movie a very good contrast is shown between both the couples how one lives in india and in mumbai and struggling to make ends meet and while the other sister is having the time of her life now when we come to the acting well deepika padukone ki baat kare of course she is breathtaking you cannot keep your eyes off her but unki angry crying sad emotionally anxious ki baat kare that all just came naturally to her maybe because of some reason but when it came to normal dialogue deliveries or reacting to something that's funny she looked a little 
first. And this is what we felt about Deepika's acting. If you have some other point of view on how did you feel Deepika acted or looked, do comment below and let us know. When it comes to Siddhant Chaturvedi, he nails the character so much that he makes you believe that you are watching the entire movie on the point of view of Zane. And basically, he brings Zane to life. And Ananya's ki performance, she's rocked it because Tia ka role definitely demanded a lot from her and she clearly gave her all and the role definitely made her grow. One sad part about the movie is that it's called Dhairya Karwa and Nasiruddin Shah, but it's quite underutilized in this movie. Mein. Instead of giving more screen time to Deepika and where she's confused, thinking or just walking in nowhere, these two could have been utilized better. Now, when we talk about the technical aspects of the movie, the shots hai, they were worth viewers' retention. Because there are many 360 degree shots jo hai, that made us feel like we are sitting in the living room. Mein baithe and one clear shot that I distinctly remember is that a 360 degree shot that was taken in a car which is very difficult to execute but it was so smoothly done that I was thinking that I'm there in the car with Zayn and Al. The color grading is so on point and we found out in the trailer itself. The first half had this very tiny glitch that movie mein jo music aata, it comes up very abruptly. It could have been a more subtle in the starting of these songs. And when, it, when we talk about the second half, that is where the story picks up really good pace and the last 20 minutes is just an emotional turmoil for all of us, the viewers and even for the characters. And that is where we give it the stars that we've given it already. And after this review, you can definitely decide whether you want to watch this movie or not. That was the video guys. If you liked it, do remember to hit the like button and share it with all the Bollywood lovers that you know. And also subscribe to my channel and do hit the bell icon. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. The handles are right in front of you. Thank you so much.